<laughs> Good morning, Vlogmas day four. So definitely getting a late start to this morning. Um, it is already 9.30. I have been very lazy this morning because I didn't get home until uh, a little after 2.30 in bed, right around 3 a.m. So I am tired, um, and of course, you know, all the kids, I had to get Bryce up for school. Actually, Mark got Bryce up for school, um, but I kind of woke up around the same time, and then the girls woke up about 7.45. So I've been up since 7.45, just kind of been lazy, had my cup of coffee. I'm about to make myself another one. The girls are now outside playing. They absolutely love it, and again, remember, I do not have a little um, stick on my camera, so it might be a little shakier than normal. I'll have to get a, a stick to hold it. So, um, the elves came last night or this morning, and I think they knew that I was going to want to have a very nice lazy day because, look, they brought the kids something to do, um, which is awesome. So, this looks like an Elf on the Shelf activity fun case. It's got some paint in there, some markers and crayons and stickers. And are these papers or like a little, oh, a coloring pad. That's what this is. Awesome. And of course, Polly had to jump up here and check everything out, didn't you, Polly? Did you have to check it all out? You know you're not allowed on the table. Get down. Get down. Go on. <laughs> all right. So, second cup of coffee is about to get made. We are going to have minestrone soup for dinner tonight, and then again, I forgot to take it out yesterday, but that's okay. The awesome thing about crock pots is that you do not have to cook it on low. You can convert the time to cook it on high. So I have my minestrone soup. I'm gonna leave it sitting out. I just pulled it out. I'm gonna leave it sitting out for maybe 30 minutes and let it defrost a little bit, and then we'll see. Um, if it is defrosted enough for me to put in my crock pot and get cooking. Um, and then I never made those two pot pies, not yesterday, but the day before, um, because I was just, I spent too much time editing and working on other things and getting ready because I knew Paige and I weren't gonna be home all day yesterday. So I'm gonna do that also. And then if I'm still, energized after all that <laughs> i am going to make some more freezer meals that i happen to have everything on hand already and i'm actually going to film a video on that to go up on wednesday when this is going up because this is tuesday so that is my plan so far for today um paige stayed home i don't know if yesterday it was just too much in the car um, or we just got home too late and she just was super, super tired this morning. But she did wake up and tell me that she threw up, um, took her temperature. It was 99.1, so not really a fever, a little higher than average. Um, so I just sent her back to bed because we did have that girl during the concert that we were around for several hours because she was a VIP also. So she was at the like hot chocolate and cookie party that I wasn't able to film. She was, you know, in line with us, around us at the meet and greet where we got to meet Lindsay. And then she was just like three, three or four chairs down from us in the actual concert arena um, with the like Q and A and the private concert. And then the, yeah, she threw up before the actual concert started. So Paige might have caught something from her. I don't know, but she's staying home today. Um, I'll just write her a note for both days and she'll go back tomorrow, hopefully. It's just like a 24-hour bug or something where she's just super, super tired and she wasn't wanting to get up this morning. So, all right, that was like a really long beginning of my day. Sorry, I got right in front of that window. I'm kind of walking around seeing if I need to pick up anything. So, I'm gonna make my second cup of coffee and then we're gonna do some kitchen stuff in just a little bit. So, I had a feeling today was going to be a lazy day and I had all these like things that I wanted to get done so far. It is 12.43, we haven't even had lunch yet. I'm about to make lunch right now for the kids, for the girls, but we hung out outside for a little bit um, and then I pulled out the crayons and the markers and everything like that and I just sat here with them instead of doing something else, but this is what they 
colored and put stickers on it. So that was their masterpiece. They'll probably do some more later on or tomorrow. I'm gonna have to push down some of these stickers so they stay on here. <laughs> So yeah, no freezer meals made, no freezer meals made yet. And um, I put the minestrone soup in the refrigerator and I just pulled it out again. So now it's good to go. So I'm gonna put it in the crock pot. Um, so I'm gonna cook it on high for probably four hours. I think then it'll be done. And then the last um, 15 minutes I have to put some pasta in here. So I'm excited. I hope the kids like it though. I've never made minestrone soup before. I used to love, love, love when I used to work for this city when Paige was just itty bitty. Um, I used to buy, I think it was Campbell's. It might've been, no, it was Progresso. I used to buy Progresso minestrone soup and I've had it at restaurants a couple times and I just love it, but I've never made it on my own. So um, it looks a little better now that it's defrosted a bit. Look at all that yumminess in there. So I'm gonna add some stuff to it, get it in the crock pot, get it cooking. Um, Rose is hangry since we've lost track of time while we were doing things. She's like beyond hungry. <laughs> so it's going to be a very quick lunch. I'll probably ask them if they want some kind of sandwich or a homemade Lunchable. And then while they're eating, I am going to get those pies set up and in the oven so I can put them in the freezer. I'm gonna do it. I'm doing it right now after lunch. Okay, it's now 1.30, so it hasn't even been an hour, and I've gotten so much done. We ate lunch. I got both of the pies cooked. I have to let them cool completely before I can wrap them up and stick them in the freezer. The minestrone soup for dinner is in the crock pot and going. And I've got a load of laundry going. What? If I don't do anything else today, that's enough. Especially since I spent all morning playing with Rose and Pearl outside and then coloring. Um, so, well, I didn't color. I just sat at the table and talked with them while they colored. <sighs> all right. You know what I think I'm going to do right now? Because the girls are having a little bit of computer time. They're on the computer. They finished their lunch. I am going to play a little bit of Stardew Valley. And then it is shortly after that, I'll probably limit myself to an hour because I'll get sucked into that game and I don't want the girls to be on the computer longer than an hour. They're doing their ABC mouse and then they'll probably play, we have Minecraft on the computer and a couple other games that they can do. Um, so in an hour it'll be 2.30, which gives us about a 30 minute window to go pick up Barice from the bus stops. Okay you guys, it is almost dinner time. And typically, we try to watch this movie when, shortly after the elves arrive just so the kids remember the rules and everything like that and what the elf on the shelf is and all of that. But we totally just forgot about it. And Bryce today after school, he was like, oh, we need to watch the elf on the shelf movie. So the kids are going to it's watch called, that. What's it called? It's called An Elf Story. An Elf Story, that is right. And what is it about? An elf. It lets you know what, how the elves, elves come and visit us, right? Yes. And all of that, and the rules and things like that. It's really cute. Yeah, go ahead. So I can't remember where we purchased it from. Probably Target, um, but everything is on Amazon. So I'll try and find it on Amazon and leave a link down below in case you guys want to get it to go with your elves. Um, but it's really cute. And definitely when you have little ones who tend to forget some of the rules that have to do with the elf, um, like these two playing with the pillows on the couch. Uh, that's why we watch this. So I'm going to get dinner, last minute things going, and then I'm gonna sit in here with them and watch it. Uh, and those last minute things, I did not do my other freezer meals. My pie is already in the freezer, um, but the other two I might do after the kids go to bed. I don't know, I don't think I wanna stay up late tonight, or I'll do in the morning. Um, and then I'm gonna post that also as an extra Actually, the vlog is an extra because I'm doing Vlogmas, but um, the freezer meal is gonna go up on Wednesday. So, I am waiting for the oven to preheat because I am making breadsticks, and these are just the H-E-B brand um, garlic breadsticks. And then, oh my gosh, you guys, this smells so good. Like, this smells just like it would if you were to get minestrone soup from a restaurant. I just like dripped a whole bunch of condensation water from the top there, but it smells so yummy. Um, I put in some 
tubular noodles and I accidentally, I think the recipe called for like one cup and uh, my, my hand I guess was a little heavy and I accidentally poured like, this whole bag was stuffed with noodles and I poured a little bit more than I meant to. I accidentally like, I, I lost a grip on the bag and it just dumped in there so We'll see how uh, how many noodles are in here, but I mean, my kids love noodles, so that's fine, but I seriously wish there was smell-o-vision because this smells so good. Mmm. I can probably take this out now, actually. It's all, it's all done cooking. The last step was just adding the noodles, so this has to cook for another 15 minutes so the noodles can cook, and then that is, it should be around the time that the oven is preheated and the breadsticks are done. So, um, Paige is still in her room. She looks really pale and not feeling good. Um, I don't think she's thrown up anymore, so she should be good for tomorrow. I think maybe she just, I don't know, too much yesterday. Um, a long time in the car. I mean, it was a three... A little over a three hour drive there and back plus you know getting home at 2 30 in the morning she was super tired so that's all right <laughs> originally we were going to spend the night but um mark needed to leave the house this morning for something so i needed to be home um for the kiddos so all right i'm gonna go watch elf on the shelf or a elf story with my kiddos do you guys remember when we first you guys probably don't remember when we first got our when the elves came to our house for the very first time. I think that's what they were that's what they were in. Yeah, they came in the box with the book and I our remember. book is upstairs. Remember our book is upstairs? Yeah, I remember. So I just wanted to share that I do the dishes sometimes. <laughs> I totally should have set up the camera and film me actually doing the dishes because now I'm just talking about it. But I did the dishes, okay? Mark has been out all day working. Um, he typically works from home, but every now and then he does have to leave the house. So I've been like on my own all day today and I have to get the kids ready for bed and put them into bed and all of that. But not all the dishes would fit in the dishwasher. I'm gonna hand wash the crock pot. I just have it soaking a little bit right now. And then as soon as the dishwasher is done, I will go ahead and load the rest, and that way, like tomorrow after breakfast or lunch, whenever it's full again, I'll start it, but yes, the dishwasher is going. Do you hear it? I loaded that, you guys. Do you hear it, Rose? You hear the dishwasher? Rose, can I see your pajamas? It's a, tra it's a tradition in our house every year during Christmas time, the kids get new Christmas pajamas, and these ones are from last year. And Rose hasn't grown at all. <laughs> she has grown, just not very much. You like the bubbles? That's the soap, so I can wash that. You trying to touch my bubbles? <laughs> uh, she's trying to put off going to bed. Um, Rose and Bryce were not big fans of the soup. Pearl and I ate it up, Paige didn't eat, just because she doesn't feel good, her tummy is still icky. Um, but I know she will like that soup. She likes that kind of thing. So Pearl and, or Rose and Bryce didn't really like it and now Rose is like, I'm hungry when it's bedtime, of course. Do your kids do that? Is it like the second you tell them, okay, it's time to get in bed, they're like, no, I have to go to the bathroom. No, I'm thirsty. No, I'm hungry. I can't go to sleep till I have something to eat. So that typically happens when it's not Mark and I here to put them in bed. I doubt it happens when he puts them to bed. Like last night, he had to put them in bed without me because I wasn't here. And I'm sure it was no problem at all, but he is definitely the rule enforcer. So, I'm about to get these guys into bed. Wish me luck. Okay, so we're coming to the end of the night. I really don't feel like we did a whole lot today, which was exactly what I needed. Um, after yesterday was so crazy busy with Paige and all that driving, I was just worn out. So I finally got the kids in bed. Rose and Pearl did talk for a little while to go up there and get after them a little bit and say, hey, stop talking and go to sleep. So it is now 1145. They have been asleep for over two hours now, like, well, three hours. Um, 
I put them to bed about eight and by nine they were finally asleep. Um, so I am getting Bryce's um, like backpack ready for school tomorrow. He, every single night, he has to read um, one book. Tonight he had two books, so we went ahead and wrote, read both, both of them, or he read them to me. Um, I'm not sure if he was supposed to have two or not, but this is kind of his main homework thing. He reads a book to us, and then we have to say, there's a sheet in here, but it has like personal information, so I can't show you that. But it has check marks for like, if it was easy for him to read, if it was, you know, like the perfect, book for him it wasn't too easy it wasn't too hard it was just really you know a good book for him to read or if it was difficult so both of these were this one was super easy for him um this dog talk one he is i it amazes me how fast he's picked up reading so this one was really easy and then for this one he read it no problems but there was like three words in here that i had to help him with so i put just right for this one but this one was like super long like there are tons and tons of words. There's one one of these pages, it was like nothing but words there, like all over. So he did really good. He didn't complain, he read the whole thing. So I have to get this together and put it in this. This is his reading homework. And then he also comes home with this behavior chart and every single day there is a color on it. Um, and we don't have to sign it or initial it until, except for Friday. So. Today he was on green and you can see that he's always on green. I don't think he's ever had one day this year yet where he has not been on green. So that's awesome. And the last thing, I don't think I'm going to be able to fit this in his backpack. He's going to have to carry it, but that's okay. His school does a, like, um, they, pu they put this really big, real, realistic looking sleigh in the office, the main office where you can drop off toys. And um, we did it last year and I always just randomly, all, all the time I pick up um, things and I keep it in my closet for rainy days or for birthdays, I always have something, especially when Target has their like percentage off of a toy and then I find it on clearance, that's what I like stock up on. So he's gonna take this and donate it I'm gonna take this off of it though, the sticker. And then I found all of these in his backpack. I'm not sure, his teacher has never said when um, they do this during class, but today Bryce came home with a ton of thank you cards from his friends. So this one is from his friend Raphael. I think they, they do this, it's one of their centers, they can make cards. This one is from, he said this is from um, one of the girls, Madison, I think. <laughs> and then, who is this one from? He's got so many. I don't know who that one is from. It doesn't have a name on it. And then he's got another one here. This is from his friend David. It's like a little note here asking him to come over and play. And then we've got another one from Raphael. So two of them for Raphael. I thought that was fun. So I was like, dang, that's a lot of thank you cards. <laughs> so. I am going to finish getting all of this ready so he is ready for school tomorrow. Also need to fill up his water bottle that he takes to school every single day and put it in the refrigerator. That's just less that I have to do in the morning. So I'm gonna finish getting all of his stuff set up and then I'm gonna get myself ready for bed and go to sleep because I'm exhausted. How late do you guys stay up? Um, typically, it's really rare for me to get in bed before midnight. It's probably between midnight and one when I go to bed and then I wake up, I don't know, between 6.30 and eight. It just all depends on when the kids wake me up or if Mark's here and he gets Bryce up for school or if I get, you know, it all depends on our schedules and all of that. So, but I am waking Bryce up for school tomorrow. So I have to be up at six, so I need to go to bed. So thank you guys for joining me another day of Vlogmas. I hope you guys are liking these. Let me know down below if there's something like specific that you guys would like to see what we do in our daily lives. I'm kind of just picking up the camera and sharing just random things throughout our day. Obviously if something, you know, is going on that day, I'm going to share that. Like yesterday was Paige and I and when was, when did we go? Saturday, which was posted on Sunday. That was when we went to Dickens on Main. So it's not, every single day is not going to be something extravagant like that and things like that. But if there's something specific 
that you would like to see, let me know down below since I am going to be doing this for over a month and uh, I don't want them to start getting boring or anything like that. Hopefully they won't because we have a lot of things planned for December. Um, it's just getting to that December 1st when our like bucket list starts and our advent calendar and all that stuff. So here I go rambling again. I feel like I'm rambling all the time. Anyway, it's because I like talking to you guys. So I'm gonna finish up, go to bed. If you guys like this video, give it a big thumbs up. If you like that I'm doing Vlogmas, hit that thumbs up. It lets me know that you guys are enjoying these and I'll make sure I definitely work at keep them going. We'll see if I can make it the whole way to December 25th. I am keeping my fingers crossed that I can do it. So I will see you guys tomorrow with a new video. Bye.